ticket over half of the way out and now I'm switching over to stick and some people run into the issue where they say uh, okay now I ticked it over halfway out well more than halfway out and uh, I gotta switch over to stick and they have issues they say well I'm running stringers but every stringer I run is putting me higher because again whenever you're getting ready to flush it out you don't want your your flush out to be too high because you do have a, a tolerance on how high your cap can be so you want your flush out to be nice and flush but as you can see on this side here this is where I stopped my TIG at on this side here and this is where I started my stick and this is how much of a lip I have as you can see on the side so what I do instead of me running straight stringers and running the risk of having too much access well where I gotta go back and grind it and get it back flush MBW. what I do Hey. I just run a little weave. I run a weave. A little weave. A little tight weave. Yeah. And what it does, it flushes out. It fills all this up and takes away this lip right here. And that's a little trick you can um you can take up and put it into your uh, arsenal of tricks. There you have it. Now you don't have to worry about how much weld it's going to take to get rid of this lip. You can just go ahead and run a little weave pass and fill it up. So I'm going to put two passes here. I'm going to put another pass from here to here. And if need be, if the lip is a little higher, do the same thing until it fill up and flush out. So this is one this is actually one weave pass, and check it out, it's flush. So I hope that helps. I know it's gonna help, because it's come from Alright, so what I've done, I decided to run two stringers. Well, I'm going to run three. That's the first one, the 7018 332. That's the second one. And this is going to be the third one. I decided that I don't want to weave that far across because that's not a good idea. You could, whenever you get a chance to uh, try this technique, make that determination whether or not that weave is going to be too wide. And then again, the uh, QCs don't like that if you make a, uh, a weave that's actually too wide. QCs really don't like that. Say at least three times the width of a uh, one eighth wire, so that's about what? Uh, it's about it's about two times the width right there. So I'm right on point. So I'm gonna run another pass, the last pass to fill out this little gap and get rid of this lip. That way it'll be. Nice and flush, and I'm gonna get ready to run the cat pass. Yeah, so. That's a better look. No 
problemo. Okay. So now we're back. All right. So this is the third pass. Let me get this right here. It's nice and flush. Let's get you a better look, better angle. Right there. It's nice and flush. You got a better look. Nice and flush. So again, whenever you get ready to run your cat pass, you won't have too much reinforcement. You won't have too much too much metal laid down there. So again, very good technique. And I'm going to keep running, turning the pipe, running all the way down until I complete this. And there you have it. So try this. And again, just to recap real quick, what I'm showing you is a, a small technique that really helps. Um, some jobs you go on, they don't want you to flush the entire pipe out. Sit, uh, with that, uh, what do you call it, the uh, 70S2 with the TIG, whatever it is, the 70S2, whatever you're doing. They don't want you to uh, um, to actually fill out the whole pipe with that TIG wire. They, you can either fill it out halfway or like I did. It's a lot more than halfway. It's over, well, as you can see. Sometimes you cheat a little bit. But... Again, you have to go in there and use that 7018 at some point in time, and that's before you flush it out. So, it's just a little technique again you can use to lay down more material to get everything where you want to go to do it like you need to do. It. All right, so this was the last stringer. <clears throat> now I'm getting ready to run my cat pass, and I'll let you see what that turns out to be. you how nice and flush the field pass is to get myself ready for the cat pass. Nice and evenly flush. That way whenever you run your, your cat pass you won't have too much reinforcement, too much cap. It won't be too high. It'll be nice and right at the tolerance. You know, in this particular project, the tolerance is, uh, it can't be no more than one eighth of uh, reinforcement. So, I'll be right on point. Now I'm beginning to run my cat pass, one of my stringers, as you can see. This is the first stringer. Hey, 
Don't forget to upload your on-site funny moments and also display your skills. It's easy. Just go to www.christaner, click the upload button, and follow the instructions. It's easy. Display your skills to the world. Bye-bye.